What up YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in today and I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best home tattoo removal method from start to finish. Absolutely effective. I absolutely suggest it to some of my lighter skinned people and I'll tell you why later on during this video. No racism intended. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I did to get the results that I got on my home tattoo removal. So before I get into it any further, I'm gonna show you guys the results. Let me move my camera real quick. And these are the results, right? This is the first tattoo I took to remove. This one right here, it used to be darker than this. It was more like, it's kind of like this, right? It was a Chinese symbol, you can't really see it. Now the skin's not raised at all, right? It's a little hairy, I'm gonna shave it right now when I show you guys the process. And next, there's this one as well. You see that? It was an eagle. And now, I only scrubbed this part to kind of give you guys an idea of the kind of results that you'll get. Very slight discoloration, but really, look at that. I mean, am amazing results. You can definitely tattoo over this. Today, I'm going to be uh, removing a section over here of the wing. Probably this whole section. Doing a second session, because I plan on getting this whole leg redone with a big piece blasted. Probably get a Jesus piece right there. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the rundown. Now real quick, step one, let's get right into the ingredients. Okay, so you guys with me on this one? The first thing you're gonna need is some salt. This is just some regular sea salt that I'm gonna be using. This is the first and most important ingredient. You definitely wanna use some salt for this home tattoo removal. The next ingredient you're gonna need is this disposable cup. You definitely wanna use disposable because you wanna make sure that it is clean. You don't wanna have anything in there. You want it to just be one-time use. Next, some filtered water, guys. You're gonna need some filtered water. You can use a bottled water. That's probably the best thing you can use. Me, I'm feeling a little crazy today, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. It's basically sink water with a filter. Yep, good stuff. Then you got some non-stick pads for aftercare. This is, you're gonna need this because there's gonna be a lot of blood. And then you're gonna need some, some tape, right? Some skin tape. So you can tape on those non-stick pads. That way you're not bleeding all over your pants at work. That way you're not bleeding all over your bed. And the last thing you're gonna need that I don't have on me right now that's over there in the bathroom is a razor to shave the area where you're gonna actually remove the tattoo. So where are we now, you might be asking? We are in the bathroom. And the reason we're here is because I'm gonna be shaving my leg. Also, when you do this removal, you wanna make sure you use a spot where the floor is tile, not any kind of uh, you know carpet or anything like that. That way you don't make a big mess. And it's, if it's on carpet, you're not gonna be able to clean the mess. So make sure you do it in a tile place. The bathroom is not suggested because it is not exactly sanitary. But for me personally, I think I'll be okay. I'm not gonna be touching a bunch of stuff and then touching my wound. Just uh, make sure you're very conscious when you uh, do any of this stuff, right? You don't wanna be touching the, the toilet seat and then you know proceeding to remove your tattoo using salt. So let's get right into it. Shaving the leg. Now this is good because you're also gonna be able to see the results that I got using this method, you're gonna be able to see how effective it was. You're gonna see that the skin is not raised at all. Right? Now, take it from someone who has done tattoo removal, laser removal. As long as your tattoo is not in like a super visible place, this method is uh, pretty effective. Like, for my face tattoos, I wouldn't use this because I care about my face a little bit more than I do this little spot on my leg. But here we are. Beautiful, so here are the results you can expect, you see? This used to all be black and red, completely gone. Skin is not raised at all. This top part too. Today I'm going to, I think I'm going to be scrubbing, we'll do this section, right? We'll get rid of this head part. I think that's a good spot to go. And then next session we'll hit this top part. And then we'll be ready for a full cover up of my whole leg. 
but you can see here the results. So this method really can work for some people. It definitely works for me. Look at that. This is an ancient method, guys. This is an, this is an ancient method. So the method is actually pretty simple. What you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna get this salt. You're gonna grab the salt, and you're gonna pour a good amount into the cup. Right, just pepper it right in there. You know what, this is taking too long. Get as much of it in there as you can. As much as you can. So once you pour the salt in the cup, you wanna pour a little bit of water in there as well, some of that sterile, clean, bottled water if you got it. And the consistency you want the salt to be after you mix it up with water, oh my lord, I just spilled some salt on the carpet. The consistency you want it to be is kind of like sand at the beach when it's wet, right? When you make your sand castle. That's the consistency. Now the technique here is pretty simple. Basically what you want to do is you want to scrub your hands up nice with soapy water, really good so they're nice and clean. Then you want to grab one of these gauze, sterile, fresh. Maybe chop it up into a couple little pieces, right? I would say maybe a piece about this long, up to here, double. You want to cut it in half. You can just rip it, right? Something like this. And you're going to basically, you're going to get it like this, right? You're going to wrap it around a couple fingers. Use your pinky to hold it in place, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip it in the salt, scoop some salt out, put it on the tattoo, and just scrub like this for about 45 minutes. After those 45 minutes of scrubbing, your tattoo is going to be a nice bright red after that first layer of skin is rubbed off and the salt is going to rise the ink up out of your skin and it's going to scab up really nasty, really bad. And then after the scab goes away, if you don't pick at it too much, you'll have a fresh new spot to get tattooed on. So let's get right into it. Let's set that timer for 45 minutes. Let's get some scrubbing going and let me show you how it looks while you're scrubbing. So first things first, before you start, I gotta do a disclaimer guys because there's gonna be someone out here that uh, will come back at me upset because they didn't get the results that they wanted. So whatever you guys do, don't ever do this at home, okay? Never, never do this at home. Okay, that's my disclaimer, don't do it. You might end up in the hospital. But I did it, and I got some good results. So I'm gonna do it again. So if you wanna try this at your own risk, go ahead, but that's up to you, my friend. That is up to you. I know what I'm gonna do. As you can see, look at these results, right? Look at these ones, gone, the tattoo's gone, bro. So, this front part's gonna be gone too after today. One, one strategy I think will be helpful is if you actually just put the salt on it like that, right? And you get it going like that. Just lather it in there. It'll fall off. You wanna try to keep as much on there as you can because you don't want to be wasting valuable salt, right? If you're Mexican, you know salt, that's good for popcorn. So you don't wanna be wasting any salt. And then you just wanna get right into it, just start scrubbing, scrubbing like a maniac. And at first, it won't be so bad. It'll definitely be bearable. But like I said, at first, if you're the weak of mind, the week of spirit, good luck getting this done. This is reserved for the most hardcore of us. Oh, so as soon as the skin starts to break, you're gonna get a little bit of pain and it's gonna sting like hell. This is salt after all. So earlier in the video, I made a comment. Some of y'all might think it's racist. I said some of my darker skin individuals probably shouldn't do this. Wanna know why? 
because I have a friend who did it, a little darker skinned, and I don't know if this is what he told me, I don't know if it's true, but darker skinned individuals tend to keloid, right? Tend to keloid a little easier. So if you're one that, that keloids easier or gets really nasty scars, don't do this, right? If you're really dark skin and your scars tend to heal light skin, you probably shouldn't do this because you're going to have a, a light skin spot on you, right? So nothing to do about being racist or nothing like that. It just has everything to do with just trying to give you guys the best advice possible for doing your home tattoo removal because you're going to need some advice. This is not textbook technique, right? So what I want to do is just give my subscribers some quality content for some stuff that their mama probably told them, don't you ever do that. In fact, anyone who cares about you will probably say don't do that. So if you're one of those people like me who just does whatever they want to do and is willing to pay the consequences for those actions, then so be it. Do it. So as you start, you see it's starting to turn red in spots. That's what you, that's what you like, right? It's going to start to sting. Right now it's stinging a little bit. I'll give you guys some fast forward motion. You want to try to get as much use out of a single piece of gauze as you possibly can. So if you have to, you can just grab it like this and kind of scrub. That might be a little better for some people. Now you want to make sure you don't have any kind of cuts on your finger because if you have cuts on your finger, this ain't going to be fun for you. Let me tell you, that finger is going to sting. Now I want to address some of the haters. I know this video is going to get a lot of hate. Any video controversial like this that's not necessarily suggested medically by your physician is going to get all kinds of hate, all kinds of dislikes. If that's you, that's cool. Keep commenting. Come back. I'm gonna have update videos, and you'll see the results, and we can argue. We can argue about it then, right? We can have an argument all you want once you see the results. I'm all about results, guys. And these results are gonna speak for themselves, as these ones do, right? As these ones do. So. I'm sharing this to give you guys some technique to try at your own risk, at your own responsibility. Y'all gotta be responsible. If you're, if you're a minor, man, don't do this, man. You shouldn't be unsupervised on the internet anyways, but don't do this. Right? This is for adults who are making adult-type decisions. Right? You shouldn't even be getting tattoos. Why are you getting tattoos? Where are your, where's your mama? In all honesty, I started getting tattoos when I was about 12. I've got to be honest with you guys. That's why I'm scrubbing them off with salt now. <laughs> so, tats, quick tip, tattoo tip from someone who used to work as a tattoo artist. Wait till you're older, wait till you got some money, wait till you got some connections and you know, know a little bit more about art. Your, your taste in art has developed to a point where you actually know what you're looking at. You can recognize a good piece of art. Now this is going to be an honest review. No lying here, no cheating. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see the results of this salivation scrub. This is actually an ancient technique of tattoo removal. It's called salivation. It's starting to get red everywhere the ink is at. You see? You want to scrub until the whole thing is like red like that, like all this is red. You'll notice when that first layer is scrubbed off, you'll be able to recognize it, right? Throw some salt on there. The good thing is, after you've been scrubbing a while, the salt is actually going to act as a numbing agent. So first it's going to sting like hell, and I mean like hell. And then second, it's going to act as a numbing agent, and you'll start to feel a little bit better. Oh, man. 
Ooh, that stings. This ain't no joke. Ooh, but we gotta keep going. Oh. Slowly but surely, we're making progress. As you can see. So this, this is pretty much what you want, right? As you can see, it's not bleeding. It's the strangest thing. It's not actually bleeding. All those parts that were scrubbed, all those red parts, are the parts that are gonna be removed. See right here, I missed a spot, but that's okay because I'm gonna get a cover up and that's not gonna affect the tattoo. You know, the main parts is gonna be this, and this, and then this front part. Once that's removed, we're good to go. So this is it, man. This is how it looks after about 45 minutes. Let me wipe it off. Then you just want to clean the floor. Then after that, you wanna clean the floor, clean your leg, take a shower maybe, get all this salt off, and then uh, let it air out for the day. So there you have it, the home tattoo removal secrets. As you saw, you want it to be that nice bright red and you will get your desired results. Now just be very careful. Do not be touching stuff and then touching your tattoo afterwards. You definitely want to make sure your hands are nice and washed every time. That's how you're going to make sure that you don't get those infections, right? So all the materials used in this video can be found at your local Walmart for under $15, maybe even under $10 with a good sale. All in all, I bought this big box of five rolls and I used two and that's only because one fell on the ground. I always get a little bit extra. So realistically, under $10, you can get all the supplies you need for this tattoo removal. Now, please subscribe to this video if you want the update on the results from this removal. I already showed you the previous results. Those are actual results, and I am confident that we will have the same results in the next video. It takes about three weeks to heal. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want an aftercare instruction video, and I'll be sure to provide that for you. Muchas gracias por ver este video. Thank you guys a lot for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Subscribe to my channel.